The source of good malt is good barley. We have two types of barley in the UK, winter barley, which is sown in the autumn, and spring barley, which is sown in the spring. After sowing, the barley grows much like grass, and then in the springtime, it will grow to a height of 30 to 40 centimetres, and then we'll start producing the ears. And once you have the ears produced, then it's really just a case of grain fill and ripening. Harvest is the exciting time of year when the farmers go out and collect all the crops. For barley, that means the crop must be mature and ripe with the heads necked over and the grains nice and dry. The crop itself needs to be dry because the combine harvester has to separate the grain from the straw. Typically, winter barley is harvested in July and spring barley in August. As a maltster, there is no finer sight than seeing a combine harvester working its way through a field of malting barley on a hot, sunny summer's day, knowing that that barley is going to be coming to us for malting for the next season. So once the barley is harvested, and as it comes into the site here, it'll be sampled all over the load and then analysed to ensure that it is exactly what we thought it was going to be and to check for germination, screenings, nitrogen levels and various quality parameters to make sure that it's suitable. Once it's passed all of that, it will be tipped into a holding silo from where there it's then dried and screened and put out to long-term storage. When we then come to make a batch of malt, we will select the appropriate barley for that specification of malt and a set batch, a set tonnage will be run to the production unit. When it comes to malting, the three key stages in the process are steeping, germinating and kilning. Steeping is the first stage of the process we subject the grain to a number of water immersions, usually two or three, using water between about 12 and 16 degrees centigrade. This ensures that the barley takes up enough moisture to sustain it through a period of controlled germination. The steeping process normally takes place over a two-day period. Once the steeping process has been completed, we then move the grain into the germination area where it can undergo a period normally over four days of controlled germination processing. Throughout this period of time we subject it to a high airflow to ensure that the grain can grow evenly. We also turn the grain periodically to make sure that the rootlets don't knit together and inhibit airflow through the grain. The kilning process is the final stage of the process so we carry out the kilning by applying warmed air. Typically this might start at 55 degrees and depending on the final finished quality of the malt could increase up to around about 100 degrees centigrade. Kilning is a very important part of the process because it allows us to impart colour and flavour into the malt which is desirable for particularly the brewer and choice of material for brewing. So the key difference between barley and malt is in barley the starch is inaccessible what we do in the malting process is make that starch accessible to the brewer and that's really the key process of converting barley into malt. At the end of kilning the malt is stripped off to a storage bin. A representative sample of the batch is taken and that sample goes off to the laboratory to be analysed. The analysis and data from that is then bolted to that batch within our management system so that that analysis then follows that batch all the way through any further packaging, dispatch and ultimately it's what's reported on the certificate of analysis to the end user, the brewer or distiller. The malt is then dispatched to customers either in bulk, into bulk lorries or it's packaged into bags. The majority of bags are 25 kg polypropylene bags but we also do 500 kg and 1,000 kg tote bags. It gives us a great buzz to see people winning awards and producing fantastic beers using our malt. 
And there's nothing better than to go into a bar and see the beer on the bar and think we've helped contribute to that with our mould.